you in at the Freakers Ball time, right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page. Also visible, available, the video stream on Vaughn.Live slash RealLibertyMedia. Yes, indeed. Welcome to everybody out there on this fine, fine Friday evening of October 4, 2019. 10 4, good buddy! Yes, indeed. It's 10 4. <laughs> so, welcome to the Freakers Ball Show. If you are listening on the audio stream in any of the various places, you can pick that up. Welcome uh, to you all out there as well. And I know we get a fair share of folk that do tune in on the audio stream on a typical Freakers Ball evening. So, uh, yeah, good, good to have you all out there with us in all the sites, the Freedoms Network, org, Minds.com, Twitter, people that saw us on Twitter. Uh, I would say those of you that saw us on Facebook, but apparently that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, apparently Facebook is a blacklisted, reallibertymedia.com. Uh, I don't know why. We don't really have, we don't have anything on there that's really controversial that I can think of, but, uh, hey, you never know. So, uh, that's just, that's just, uh, kind of the game, I guess, that they play over there, is they blacklist anybody that has liberty mentioned in, in their name. They don't, they don't like liberty over there at the Facebook, so they, they have blackballed us, blacklisted us, whatever. Um, Cowboy Texas competition, but we're no competition for a social network. I mean, I can understand if they blacklisted RealLiberty.org, well, to a some degree, very small degree since it's so small, but uh, well, whatever, you know, it's Facebook, so you expect stupid shit to happen over there. Um, anyway, that was uh, that, that's Vinny's little portion of the, the deal. He runs the Facebook end of the Real Liberty Media. So, um, anyway, hey, Moose Girl! Hey! How you doing? Good. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even, you know, I he made me, Vinny made me an admin on that Facebook page. I didn't want to be an admin on there. Yeah. Um, I mean. Well, it's all right. Don't worry. Fine to me. It doesn't look like it's banned or anything. No, not the not the page. But if you try to post a link to reallibertymedia.com, dot com, it comes back and says. Uh, you can't post this link. What community standard crap? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. apparently reallibertymedia.com dot com violates somebody's community standards. I don't know who that would be, but uh, somebody, <laughs> some Jew bastard. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. I, I was I was never yeah. I was never a fan of any of the Facebook stuff and. And, uh, yeah, dangerous. I was surprised that we were even had a Facebook page, actually. I was too, actually. Didn't know about it until. I don't uh, see the need for it. I mean, if, you know, you don't use Facebook. A lot of people in here don't. Yeah. Well, whatever. We didn't need it. We really didn't need it. I, I and I don't. I don't really think it, it brought any traffic over. But no, not well, really. Well, but it, it, but the page is still there, and some of the links that were already there still still post. But apparently, posting new links is a, a no no. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, I think but... we should just take the page down off there. Well, it, it's Vinny's thing. If he wants to do it, he can do it. I, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I don't I'm, see the I'm, need to have it if we can't link I'm, it. I'm fine with that. Uh, he could post it in other ways. But I I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. You can still oh. po- you can still post rlmradio.xyz on there. Oh, okay. From what I understand, Donna tried that earlier today. He said, "Oh yeah, it posts." But, oh, okay. Uh, but it's just not real liberty media dot com. Yes, no independent thought shall be allowed unless we tell you what those thoughts are ahead of time. Right. <laughs> oh wait, that kind of loses the whole independent thing, doesn't it? Uh, anyway. Oh shoot! I had to take the Jack- Jackson out. He didn't go out when I first came home. So. All right, you go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. So uh, yeah, it's been kind of a weird and uh, interesting day. We had a lot of rain here today. I don't, I don't know what all that was about because uh, we they've been promising rain all week and it never came. But then today, uh, yeah, yeah, some people do use Facebook. Vinny, eh? I, I, I'm not sure who all has Facebook here. Uh, I guess Donna would. She was trying to post something there, so she must have it. I know Gary L does. 
Um, I know, um, I think Kate does as well, have a, a Facebook uh, presence of some sort. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know who all, but some do. Some do absolutely use the Facebook. Rome's, I think Rome's is a Facebooker. Those people with families, you know, they they like the Facebook because because and and Moose Girl, you have a Facebook account, so um, <laughs> and and that's right, Vinny is fighting it, fighting it to the nail, or doing the good fight out there, to trying to re reconnect the voice that was disconnected. So uh, that's that's what he does. He's the, he's the connector of voices, the peaker, the peer of peacocks. Um, <laughs> things like that. Anyway, so yeah, it was weird. We had a lot of rain today. Now, uh, my friend, um, Christine up there in Colorado, Christine Smith, I'm sure some of you know who she is. Uh, most of you, maybe. Anyway, she's, uh, in the midst of this fire zone. And uh, I guess it's been creeping closer and closer to her place. And now she is officially on, uh, what do they call it? Pre evacuation. Uh, so, and her father that lives with her is blind, uh, and so she doesn't want to go to one of those, uh, you know, like wherever they send people, the evacuation centers, gymnasiums or whatever, and uh, and she doesn't have much money, so, yeah, I had to loan her some money today just in case she uh, has to take off and, and get a hotel or something like that, but, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's not looking good up there in that zone. Of course, we had all this rain here today, and, and that's only, I don't know, what, three, four hundred miles from uh, between our houses as far as my map measured it anyway. So maybe that rain will get up there and knock that fire down. So, like I said, pre-evacuation. Eh. Anyway, best best wishes towards Miss Christine and her daddy up there in Howard, Colorado. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, um, what else is going on here at the homestead? I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, what? I don't, I don't know. Oh, maybe. maybe that, but I don't, is that spam? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and play some music here since uh, Moose Girl's still taking care of Jackson. He's outside at this point in time doing his thing. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, i gotta, I got to change these titles because um, it's not Balls to the Wall. It's, it's Freakers. Freakers! All right. Uh, so here we go. This is a band from Canada. All righty, all right, Pertnier Sandstone. They're doing uh, I Don't Need You at the Grassland Jam. Uh, oh, I didn't see it. It's 2017, so, yeah, good stuff. Uh, did he say thank you, Obama, at the end? I, I don't know if he did. I wasn't I don't listening. Like he, did. He, he might have. You never know. Uh, but that was 2017, so it seems like it would be kind of... Like... Every week, every week, the the Freakers Ball podcast gets posted on the Real Liberty Media. All right, Media well, let me week. finish my deal here. All right. Sorry. Before before that, we had Joe Bonamassa. Right doing... here, September 28th. Someone oh. posted it on oh. the Real Liberty Media Facebook page. Great, great. Anyway, before that, we had Joe Bonamassa doing Young Man Blues live from the Beacon Theater there. Uh, that was actually taken off of the uh, Beacon Theater Live from New York DVD. So that was good stuff. And we kicked it off there with Rush doing Tom Sawyer. Uh, now let me just say this about Facebook, if I may. Um, what the hell? Why not? Why not post them over there? Uh, it, it, it's fine. I, I, I mean, to me, it's fine. If you have a... It's fine for you because you're not on Facebook. No, I know, but still... Um, I mean, does it get automatically posted to that page, or does someone have to actually? Put um, it actually, on there? actually, I think it does. Um, from Spreaker, I think Spreaker. Oh, it's out of post. Okay, yeah, Spreaker dot com. Okay, there okay. we go. Yeah, so Spreaker. So that answers my question. Yeah, and, and so the, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it being over there. Uh, I, as far as I know, I mean, to me, it seems like a good, uh, a good place for it to be, um, as good as any, you know, whatever. It's no, just, it must get posted automatically from speaker, like you said. Yeah, it's just a way to share it, uh, you know, whatever to uh, you know. Might as well share it out as to all the sh all the all the shows 
are getting posted on the Real Liberty Media Facebook page. All the podcasts. You know, anything that goes up to Spreaker, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, I, I mean, you know, what the hell. What, what, Which, whatever, it's fine, because I know very few people listen to that show via Facebook. I just, I just, I'm assuming that. I don't know for sure, but I'm, because I, I don't see any comments or anything. I don't get any comments, I don't see people posting comments about the podcast. Yeah, so, no, that's fine. I, I mean, look, I don't like, I don't like Facebook personally, I'm not going to use it. But if other people, you know, see the stuff up there and they come and listen, and, and great. I mean, that's great. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with somebody on, on Facebook seeing it and, and saying, it's hey? It's fine. Yeah? Hello? It is what it is. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I just, uh, you know. Um, I just like to keep Facebook separate. Okay. Anyways, the thing that Vinny posted that apparently got... Real Liberty Media uh, links banned from Facebook <laughs> is is his his tribute to Becky Haynes. Becky Haynes. I saw that. What the hell? Be Becky Haynes just died, and and he was doing right. a you know a little remembrance thing celebrating her life. I, how is that? How is celebrating somebody's life against the standards of yeah, Facebook? Doesn't make sense. Uh, unless it's the part where he said uh, uh, the testament. A testament and will that to God be the glory, which is something that Becky would have really loved. Um, so, I mean, that's the only thing I could think is because they're they're anti God over there on Facebook. They're, if if he would have posted something about you know she was with the Church of Satan or something, they'd have been all for that. But <laughs> well, that's Facebook, man. They're, they're freaking uh, demons. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah, no, I, I... I I mean, I thought that the reason why Real Liberty Org was created was, like, an anti-Facebook. Well, it is, and the same thing... Reason, the one, reason Minds was created was to be an anti-Facebook. Sure, sure, and Freedom's you know, Network... I mean, so why why does Real Liberty Media even have a Facebook page? Why not? Why not? So there's... I don't know. You know... I, uh, it's fine, it's just... 99.9% like of the world... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. you know, most, how many how many people actually know of realliberty.org or Freedoms Network? Very few. I mean, mine's is a little more popular, but it's still not, you know, it's nowhere in, in the Facebook range of billions of people. Um so, you know, if people want to see it on, on there, but you know, most like Cowboy Tech said, it's probably a suppressed listing. So it, so it uh it doesn't. I see it on my main feed. Well, you do because you're you're friends with. Oh, okay. With, you know, it, it's it's your thing. Oh, okay. But, but your your average person out there ain't gonna see it. Yeah, that makes sense. And and so you know, we have people over there. You know, like, like I was talking earlier, I, I think um, you know, like uh, Kate and Grammy's Grammy, and uh, certain certain people here. Uh, they they do use the Facebook. People that have families and such, right? They they, they like you. You have a Facebook, so yeah. Um, so so I I don't really I don't have a issue with the, with there being a real liberty media page there. I actually I, I kind of I kind of like that it's there without ever having to go there and look at it. That's right because Vinny made the page because he's a that's that he's a he's a connecting voice type type of guy. So he likes to spread the message. He does you know. That for for uh, real liberty media in general and um, the various shows that are here, he's a he's a hell of a supporter for for our for us for for real liberty media. So um, he does a lot of good stuff. It would be nice to see how much traffic that page gets. Well, he can look that up. There's stats on pages and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and it's probably not much. You know, it's probably not very much, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, and that's fine. That's all good. Just whatever. It's you know I. I it's all good for look, you. Look, no, I, I, I you know, <laughs> our our stuff goes out on uh, what's what's that thing? iTunes, and it goes out on. Uh, no I, one listens to it on iTunes. Well, no right, one listens right. To it on iHeartRadio. I, I right. guarantee you. I know, but nobody listens to it. But it's out there, and it's one of those big right. corporate <laughs> corporate conglomerate things. Um, and this this new one sends it to Spotify. Um, so whatever you know, it, it, it's no it, one listens to it there. I know that. 
<laughs> saying. But it's there. It seems like a lot of we were extra were effort for nothing. Yeah, but it's not, but it's not you know it's it's my effort or, or Vinny's effort or somebody else's effort. Right. It so, seems why why. Yeah. So it's not like something. You're that, not going to fucking convince Facebook that anarchy is the answer and anti-government's the answer and blah blah blah. You're not going to convince anybody of that via Facebook. Even via RLM, we're not going to convince anybody of that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, why waste, go through the effort and the motion yeah, if it's well. not even fucking being looked at or listened to? Well, why not? Why not? I, I mean, I if, if if that's what people want to do, um, you know, then why not? Um, it's, it's not hurting anything. And, and And it's, you know... You don't have to put the effort in to do it. You don't, I mean, but cause... now we're fucking banned or something. Well, just, just yeah, links to reallibertymedia.com are banned. Which is ridiculous. But I think say fuck Facebook, get but, the fucking page off there. But, and go but no, no, no. it on Real Liberty Org. Well, we do, but... Um, Even though I don't go on Real Liberty Org. Well, see, there you go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I do. I post it on all these sites all the time. Every show... That comes on reallibertymedia.com before it comes on, and then when it comes on, I post it on Twitter. I post You're it online. You're not gonna fucking take down Facebook. You're not. I'm not trying to take down get Facebook. People to be all of a sudden, oh, I don't I, want I it. I this Freakers Ball podcast on Facebook on the Real Liberty Media, and guess what? I'm an anarchist now. I'm not a Democrat. Or I'm Republican not trying anymore. to. It, it's not. I'm not trying to take down Facebook. All I'm doing <laughs> is letting people know that are interested or that may be interested. That this show is now coming on, so if you want to tune into it, it's over here. Maybe it's something you never I'm heard of. I'm talking about the podcast, not the fucking notices that the show is on. Well, even I'm that. Talking about the podcast being posted, which we determined that it uh, automatically gets posted from Spreaker. Right, but I, but I also I believe there's a setting that would cause it to not get posted on Facebook. Sure, there's a setting did not post it on Facebook. I could disconnect Facebook from Twitter anytime. You are the most anti-Facebook person I know, Grim. I understand that, but the page is there. And and we might as well let people know if they're interested in Real Liberty Media, for whatever reason, we're not trying to convert people. If they're on Facebook, they're not going to be interested in Real Liberty Media. Odds are. Well, uh, odds are, but uh, some people are I don't odd. want the fucking page taken down, all right? <laughs> Just get that fucking idea out of your head. Settle down. Settle down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. All right. I, just... I really, I didn't, I, I wasn't asked if I, if I was okay with it. I wasn't asked if I was okay that the Freakers Ball podcast get posted on there. Yeah. You know, I have relatives and shit on there. But but they I don't, don't know. Need, I don't need fucking, some fucking motherfucking aunt or uncle listening to the goddamn thing and fucking calling my mom or my dad and bitching at me, bitching about it or whatever. Well, would they? They wouldn't know. They, they don't if, fucking know. I don't fucking know. Oh, and and, w and would any of these aunts or uncles know your name is Moose Girl? Yeah. Really? If they look at my Facebook page. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then would they know that you're somehow connected to Real Liberty Media? Yeah, because my picture's on the goddamn fucking thing. Okay. My picture's on the podcast. Uh, when right. the Real Liberty Media podcast, it's the picture of you and me. Yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah. there. That, that's true. All right. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. I, like I said, I try to keep Facebook shit fame, uh, separate from my my political leanings and all that shit. I very rarely will pull If you look at my page, you will not see one fucking political post on my fucking page whatsoever. All right. You will well, not. That, because I just don't go there on there. I don't least, go there on Facebook. I don't well, go to that. At, at least, at least from that, my understanding, at least that, what I've done uh, is whenever I try to talk to any family members or any close friends, they don't want to fucking talk about it. They don't think the same way I do, okay? Yeah. All I don't right. want the fucking page taken down. Just post whatever the fuck you want on there, and sh let's shut shut the fuck up about it. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I didn't know that 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 was a thing that was somehow your connection. So if you don't want me to connect 
on for no, that's fine the, for the for the for the Freakers Ball podcasts from Spreaker. If you don't want those to go over, that's okay. I can do that or not do that, as the case may be. Um, that's easy enough. It's just one like it's an unpopular stance that we fucking take here. Yes, it you know? is, and that's we're pushing the goddamn envelope <laughs> by trying to get people on Facebook to fucking change their minds or something. No, we're not. I just think I, it's I don't fucking. Wanna... Uh, you know, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. Wishful thinking. I have, I have no interest in changing anyone's mind about anything. <laughs> it, it, me either. People are going to believe what they're going to believe if they decide to listen to me. And uh, it's just, uh, I know who listens. I know for the most part who's listening to our show every fucking week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I know it's no one on Facebook. All right. It's no one that I know on Facebook listens to our show. Okay. Because they don't even fucking know about it. Right. Why would they? So, you know, it, it's... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. Let's move on. <laughs> no. No, it's not over and done with. I, mean, I want it to be over and done with right now. Well, what do you want it to be done? Okay what, with that? What do you, what are you okay with this conversation about the Facebook, Real Liberty Media Facebook page being over and done with? I think so. I hope so. If we're really going to move on, then let's fucking do it. Uh, all right. Well, I... I all right. I, I, let's I, not I, talk about it ever again. Well, I don't know about that. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you contact me? You contacted me through the uh, uh, direct account? Okay. Anyway, I was going to see if he was going to jump in. Cool. And, and Vinny! What are you talking about? He contacted you? No. I was going to see... <laughs> what? I was going to see if he wanted to jump in on the call and... No, no. No, okay. No, no. All right, all right. No. That's fine, that's fine. We've all already right. beaten it like a fucking dead horse already. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to be criticized and be called this and that and and well, have judgment it, placed on me. It was just a conversation. Just a conversation, that's all. That's all right. All right. <laughs> let, okay, let Vinny call in. If he wants to discuss this further, right, he can well, call in. I'll mute. Uh, mute? Don't you want to talk about it, too? I mean, you know... You, there, there's, no. There, there's there, there, there's no need for you to um, um, mute. I'm, I'm, where, where, where the hell is he? I don't want to be criticized. If that's what he's going to call and just do that, then I don't fucking want him to call. <laughs> I just, uh, my problem is, is that I, I wasn't aware that it automatically gets posted there, okay? All right. Now I am aware of that. Okay, that can be changed. We've determined that. That's good. You might not get it, but I fucking get it because it's personal reasons that I have why I don't necessarily want the Freakers Ball podcast posted on Facebook. Okay. So that's, Is there something wrong with that? No, no, fucking, no, no, and that's the only... Wanting, that yeah. show that I'm on posted on the Real Liberty Media page on Facebook. Okay. That's what it so, comes so, down to. So that's it's the a only personal reason. All right. That, so that's the only thing we will change is not put the not, not put the Ball podcast on Facebook from Spreaker. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Easy enough. And that's what's posting it, right? All right. So that that's how it's getting posted. Yeah. Because that when right. I when I when I put it up every week, uh, there's a a list of things at the bottom. Where do you want this posted? And I check that box because it goes because we're connected over there, so it, it sends it over there. So I'm the one sending it over there because I do it via. But speaker. you don't give a shit. You're not on Facebook. Well, you I, I know, but you nobody you're ever not. you you never said don't post it there. So <laughs> I didn't because... know. I didn't know. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> All right, fine. No, that's fine. I was fine. at first because I thought some other person was posting them on there. I did not know it was being automatically posted. Well, on it's, there. it's not quite automatic. I have to check the box. Okay. Well, there you go. So now I'm not confused anymore. Now I understand why it gets posted there. Right. So I won't check that box for the Freakers Ball podcast. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good enough. Unless you want to change the picture. 
I, well, that's a possibility too. I, you know. I mean, I don't know, but I just I'm I've never been really good with it. I, I've just been like, why is that being posted on the Facebook? Well, you never asked me. Well, it's never really been a thing. Well, ah. now, now, okay. now all of a sudden we can't post Real Liberty Media. I, like, I know, but but Facebook. it's not, but not because of Freakers Ball. Well, we don't know that. Well, we do because we it's the one post that Vinny posted, but they probably have been monitoring it too. You know, not just that one post. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Right. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently apparently somehow... I don't need the holier-than-thou lecture about how this and that, and I shouldn't feel like this, and I shouldn't be like this, and I shouldn't be like that. It's like, you know what? Look there. I don't need that right now. Look I don't there. need that. We're posted on Twitter. That's fine. All right. <laughs> no one listens to it on there any either, but... All right. <laughs> okay, good. good enough. Um... The problem has been the same problem has, that's always been since we started the goddamn show, and that is no one gives a fuck. All right. Not enough people give a fuck. Do you care? That's the problem. Do you care? And to try to take it upon yourself to make people give a fuck, I think it's a waste of time. I don't want to make anybody do anything. Neither do I. All right. And do you care that they don't give a fuck? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah, mm. because that's the problem. That's the main fucking problem we got going on now. Okay. Oh, no. So if he took the Real Liberty Media page no, down completely, I, I, then you went to an extreme, no. and then you can blame me now. Now you can turn around and go, uh, well, you made me take the RM. Um, no. Um, no, I, I, think, I think he's saying... Uh, he, he, see, no, I'll never see it again. Okay. But Why that, is that? I mean, Why will I never see it again? He, he probably banned you from the page or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real mature. Well, no, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Go to extremes with everything. I get it. Well, yeah, I, I think you're just not understanding. That's why I wanted to to bring him into the conversation, but you, you weren't you weren't you didn't want that. So, Vinny can he can, as long as he doesn't fucking criticize me and do the holier than thou crap on me, I'm fine. No, with I, I, I think it's just a miscommunication. I think you that's guys. That's what I think too. So, so, I, 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 so I'm not gonna let him. Come on here there, on the fucking call and sit there and go, well, you're this and you're that, and you're the blah, 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 blah. So you know, fuck that. So the, I, I mean, I, I, there's no reason to get upset when the, when the communication isn't clear. Right. I was That's confused. All. I've admitted that. All right. So was I. I. Know how it was being posted on the page. Okay? I was confused. All, I, I was this, confused this, this as well. <laughs> all right. I was confused as well because I didn't know uh, why anybody would but, have. Okay, see, now I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm I'll, I gotta get off here, Graham. I'm 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 ending this. I'm gonna jump off wire. Why? Because it's going to extremes now. Well, as I... per usual, I'm done. Ah, oh, girl. I <laughs> come on. Oh man! All right, I guess I'm here alone. Um, yeah, that doesn't solve anything. That doesn't solve anything. All right, fine. Um, I'm gonna play some music. <laughs> I, I don't. I I I I I I just I, I just. I don't, I don't really get it, but okay, that's fine. I'm gonna play some music here. This is a band you may have heard of. They're called uh, Avenged Sevenfold. All right, well that there we had uh, <laughs> Ronnie James Dio doing uh, "Man on the Silver Mountain." Uh, the video cut cut off a little prematurely, I think. Uh, anyway, that's great stuff. Before that, ML Inc. or Email Inc. Uh, A M I L Inc. doing a man on the throne, and we kicked it off there with Avenged Sevenfold doing Hail to the King. Hail to the King, baby! 
as uh, Duke Nukem would say. <laughs> all right, all right. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to try and conversate this here. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, I tell you, it's a uh, this is a day of uh, of un un unplanned type things going on. So uh, yeah. All right, who do we got here? Somebody. Hey, Mussy. All right. Stop. Oh, not too much. I don't want to be on this call. You don't have to be. I, I just, I, I call on the Freakers Ball thing. I don't thing. want to be on this call. Well, you don't have to be. But, but, okay. But, I'm going to go. All right. Vinny? Hey. Is that you? Okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I've got, I've got the players one. Whoops. Whoopsie. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? Don't you know anything? Uh, uh, you know me and me end up pushing the button. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, buttons, indeed. I, my button's been pushed. I guarantee you. I was confused, completely confused. It was like my uh, blog, uh, our radio log blogcast from last week for Becky. Um, in there, I see one of the things that I linked from Facebook, uh, either embedded or copied and pasted the. Uh, the address where it popped up in there and it says it's gone. And then, so I go to looking over on Becky's page and I see two, uh, two posts are gone. And I'm like, huh, I'm thinking now, I mean, did I offend somebody here with one of the family members or something? And, uh, her brothers were listening, Sam and, uh, and Steve were right. both listening live. Okay. And, and I, I talked to Steven, uh, in the, uh, Messenger there. I hate Messenger. I hate Facebook. Uh, but it's part of the uh, the thing, tools, the, the ability we have. I mean, Facebook is, is responsible for a lot. They, and when they started all this crap and algorithms, and um, I quit playing her game. I mean, I just backed away. I had 50 pages. I, I've been added to as administration to I don't know how many other people's pages. People that are out there doing something, you know. You've got so many tools and so many uh, uh, ways of being able to connect to other people. And like it or not, Facebook is one of the largest moguls there is out there. And, it, and you got to be smart enough to beat them and not get their uh, ire up on you. Now, uh, perhaps my uh, little sneaky business of uh, backdooring their ass uh, caught my – somebody maybe snitched on me and they, they got the attention then. And perhaps it's me that caused the uh, whole – Debacle of uh, not well, what, what, they, they, uh, they apparently they think it's spam. Our RLM is spam. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. What is it? The anarchy, the cap, anno, uh, anno, anarcho capitalist uh, emblem. What? Uh, I mean, I, I people, have... people called me an anarchist because I was wearing my press bag. I well, wait, let me go read this crap. I'll let you have. I'll take a breath and let you say something. Let me go read a little. All right. Well, the thing, you know, I, I you know, I, I know that on Facebook they they let you like tag somebody or flag somebody. So maybe somebody heard something there they didn't like. Maybe somebody didn't like Becky. I don't know. And they and they said RLM is spam. And 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 so I don't know how they could think anything on RLM is spam because, well, it's just not. Um, <laughs> yeah. We are completely not for profit. Uh, you know, w when I was at UCY, I in a, and I say ashamedly so now for the little amount that uh, that I do here at Real Liberty Media, and, and, uh, which is part of my plan of stepping up and doing some more, uh, bringing uh, house, make sure that these are not going to be lost. These archives, right? Uh, a monthly contribution. It's it's such a small amount. Now, I'm not bragging on myself. I do what I do because I want to do it, and I, I want to affect change. Well, I mean, it don't matter if nobody – I mean, I post you, – you know the irony about this business? I took the uh, the link out in, in space stuff apart there where I could get the, the thing to post, and uh, I had an unusually high number of people come over and like it. I think there was eight people that uh, that liked the, 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 the uh, post for uh, my – Today's broadcast. Of okay. Live in life, comma, uh, in contrast. Uh, what I do, I, I don't go and go seek out stuff like um, off the wall conspiracy theories or 
Um, you know, I don't post hate things. I don't say uh, kill uh, Michael Obama or none of that crap. You know, I, I caution people to guard their words. Well, you might not believe that hearing shit run out of my mouth like it does sometimes, but, uh, um, you know, they're effective. Words have power, and we have to deliver them somewhere, and there has to be somebody there to receive them. If you ship a truckload of goods across country, ain't met out in the middle of the desert, nobody was there, what good is it? You know, it does does nothing. But maybe there was just one person that showed up and you said, Hey, have a case of Coca-Cola, my friend. Glad you could come along. Well, then you get to talking. So uh, I've got a few thousand friends here on whatever they call them on Facebook. And uh, a lot of people started following me because of my work here at Real Liberty Media. And started out at uh, at uh, UCY.TV. I was listening to a show from uh, two days after the standoff. It's a fantastic show. Uh, I had several guests lined up. Chuck Ocelli was my producer. Uh, and there I am running around out in the desert, snatching people up and uh, getting them to talk. Such a small amount. I, I, myself, I, I look at myself as a peanut in a row of Snickers bars. All these great people that I've had the chance and opportunity to meet. And then the famous people, the ones at the, the, the pundits out there that are delivering the bullshit clap that people swallow and, and would just assume grow fat and choke, and choke to death and die on it, then go to, to seek out understanding. Now, uh, Circle thought maybe that uh, Chascuta and I were, were uh, fighting or something when we did it. Well, I mean, we have uh, opposing viewpoints, so there might be some tone uh, reflected in that. But that's just the type of person I am. And... Uh, you know, I like Chess Gooder, and I think uh, having conversation that presents opposing ideas is very important. I don't believe in censoring anything except for myself. And uh, there's just some things you don't want to do. You don't want to go uh, saying fuck all the time on the radio. If you intend for some people to, to hear your message, that will stop. They won't listen to another word you say. And what? Is it my fault? Well, yeah. We have to be, what? Responsible for ourselves. Not nobody else. Hey, fuck all anybody tells me what to do or not to do. I'll tell you, you can look at my face and you can see my nose barely hangs on there from having, I haven't cut it off so many damn times despite it. Yeah. So that's just me. Yeah. You can't threaten me or you can't uh, intimidate me. You can't. You can't offer me monetary uh, nothing for what I do. I do what I do, and 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 I give as I take. I, so do I give, um, and it's my business. You know, if I'm sitting up in here smoking a joint, hey, it's kind of stupid to say it on the radio. If they really wanted to come after me, all they have to do is show up at noon o'clock on Friday and and knock on my door. But hey, the sheriff he used to be my bootlegger. I say, hey, look here, Luke. What about that beer I used to go get out of your wheelhouse all the time? You can come fuck with me about weed? No. You know, people uh, have lost it. They, they just don't understand how this world works. Or they're happy with it, satisfied, need somebody to thank for them, takes all the problems away. You know? Uh, in, in, in standards of monetary standards, I'm well below the poverty line. But you know what? I'm the happiest, uh, richest, some bitch I know, period. I I see people they have want for nothing, and they're miserable. I don't understand it. Um, and somebody, a family member, had uh, lots of problems emotionally throughout life. You know, I was the uh, the popular guy and all this, and he was, you know, kind of the uh, retard, whatever. I, I feel sorry for him now. I mean. You can't go back and change things, but you are who you are, and you got to change. And you can't let uh, what other people have to say affect you. Although uh, I do, I, I'm, I admit I'm an emotional person. Uh, I'm over here looking for this uh, quote. It was from uh, uh, who's the guy with all the silver? Hide, rich guy. 
Rich guy um, with all the silver. I don't know. The old guy with all the silver. The old guy, the old rich guy with all the silver. Yeah, not Bass. Uh, he drives the old car around like old Buick or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Where's <laughs> old war out shoes? I'll find his name. Let me let you talk. And all right. Just, uh, all right. Well, let me just say, uh, let me just say, uh, it's been a good, whatever, 10 plus years here that uh, every time when, when there's a show on Real Liberty Media, regardless of what show it is, and I never went ahead and asked people, um, but nobody, as far as I know, had a problem with it. Um, but I would, I've been posting as far and wide as my per- personal reach goes, which is not that far. You know, I do the Twitter. I, I, do, I, do, the, I do the Mines. I do the uh, realerity.org. I, I, I do the, the, uh, the uh, freedomsnetwork.com. Uh, it's, it's just a small, small, you know, people. But I've been putting it out there in case anybody wants to come and listen. Of course, nobody does. People, we don't. We don't get new people from all of that stuff. I don't know that people ever ever actually listen beyond uh, listening to the live stuff. Uh, I do get stats and stuff from downloads from from uh, various sites uh, where, where the information goes out through the the Blueberry, which is the uh, the podcasting mechanism there on RealLibertyMedia dot com and Spreaker, of course. Uh, give this stuff, and then I get stats from uh, uh, other places uh, showing you showing me how many people I had looked at what various sites and posts and such like that. But it's just not that much. Real Liberty Media never got popular. They don't like something, or they just don't care. Uh, one of the one of the two. I think it's more that they just don't care. Not. I think you're. I, I don't think it's so much they don't like what we have to say. They don't bother to listen to what we got to say. So, you know, whatever. So I was posting all the stuff out there. I never knew. I never even considered that somebody doing a radio show uh, might might not want their, their information out there. Um, so I apologize sincerely, Moose Girl, if I um, posted stuff someplace you didn't want it to be. I... I was unaware. And, I uh, had no idea that you didn't want to be a minister. I put everybody that was at Real Liberty Media as, as a, equal to my own position of authority, which the creator of the page. I don't want to be in charge of nothing. I don't want to, I don't right. want to be in charge of nobody. And all you got to do is tell me. I mean, if I've done something wrong, I don't know, or I wouldn't have done it without being told. Yeah. Right? Right. No, I didn't ask, and, and he didn't ask, and... It, it just didn't seem like a thing, you know. Um, and and um, <laughs> well, yeah. see, when I came up, when I came along, I think I've been here. Uh, let's see, what is twenty nineteen? Is is it four years? I think. Yeah, four Probably or five years, about, something like that. Uh huh. And and Flash, he had asked me a couple of times about doing some radio, and uh, I left UCY is like well it kind of felt like it's time to move on yeah, you say so many things and you can only say so many things and then you start feeling like you're repeating yourself mm-hmm. but anyway so um, Flash and I have become uh, I don't think most people realize the uh, extent of our relationship but um, we used to say every morning me and Flash and Sir could be there sometimes sometimes Mary and we'd talk every morning uh, you know face to face on the Skype and uh, so, so Flash is a—he's a different sort of fella. Oh, I almost missed my post. There it is. Uh, Four twenty. Yeah, GMP actual Greenwich Mean Time. I actually could say it that time. Uh, F- Flash and I—he uh, got mad at me that one time, and I was like hearing him later. I go, "What the hell? Did Flash just break up with me on radio?" I said, no, <laughs> hell no! You can't break up with me. We're friends, man. I don't, I don't throw friends away, and I don't let friends throw me away. You know, right, when I right. get growing up, friends fight sometimes, but there's fairness to it. You know, no eye gouge, no kicking your friends in the nuts when you're fighting, right? That sort of thing. No pulling hair, no eye gouging, that sort of thing. There's certain decencies that apply when you have disagreements as a friend. If, if you don't have a disagreement with your friend, then you really don't have a friend. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, you know, Dealing through relationships here in life, and that's where we're at. We're trying to change the world, and we have a chance. I mean, this isn't just something frivolous. 
you know, no matter how small. You can't do great things, I like well, to say. Do small things in a great way. Let, 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 me, ask, let, me, let me ask you this here. So yeah. um, over on the, the Facebook Real Liberty Media page, uh-huh. okay, you removed Moose from the admin role, right? I took her off the page altogether. Okay, so you, you didn't want to be there. I, wait, 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 wait. You blocked her from the page. Yeah, I kicked her right out of there. Well, well no, why? Why? That's, well, that's she was out going on about she didn't want her shit being seen at Real Liberty Media. Well, that accidentally that, was that don't there, mean she don't want to see go. it. It won't be in her feed no just, more. That's just, she got a problem. With just because, so she, just because she don't want to be seen there doesn't mean she don't want to see it. There ain't no reason yeah, to block her. It was landing. It was landing in her feed. See the how Facebook works. Um, I, you yeah. get so many things you can click preference to where it'll show up in your feed first. I I limited out on that a long time ago. I turn on the notification. Okay. For see, every person that I've become friends with. See, see. So as I'm sitting on there, as they're posting, it's flashing up, and I, I'm seeing notifications. All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. She's saying that she just didn't want the Freakers Ball podcast posted there. I'll handle that because I'm the one telling Spreaker to send it over there. So I won't do that anymore. Other than that, I think she's okay with with the, with the with the page. I don't know. I felt like you know I was being told that I, I know, but shit, you know, it don't matter. Shit, shit, yeah, gets, but shit gets don't tell me what to do. I mean, I came to Real Liberty Media. You never told me what to do. Uh, well, I why would I? You to do so many things to help me, but you know, you you do that. You give. You're, I'm not taking nothing from you, and you're not taking nothing from me. I, I, I have. I feel like you know, well, being a poor bastard as I am, I, I wish I could send more. But to have a monthly, I'll be, you know, this this month was the first <laughs> month that it, that Real Liberty Media contribution was not the first thing I did, the first bill I paid, and that's because I was helping the, uh, some uh, my friends over here who was a day late on their money and their uh, electric bill. So I paid their electric bill, and I did that first. But, uh, uh, you know, this 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 thing didn't run by itself. You know, you, you, it costs know. money. You spend so much time. I mean, <laughs> almighty. Uh, you're, in my opinion, and I ain't trying to be an extoller and, and pat you on the back and all that shit, but uh, you are you're not – I hold you among people – that I hold in the highest esteem in this world. You, you are doing something. You've dedicated time, uh, resources, in, in your your effort, your money. Uh, you know, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to just sit back and uh, drink the Kool Aid and, and watch the hell uh, the world go to hell in a handbasket? Or uh, what? No, we man, got it, a chance. I, I we just, got a chance in history. I want you know. I want I want to put it whatever information, whatever view and opinion I have out there. But uh, I'm certainly not trying to. Uh, force anybody to swap their views to opinions of mine. But um, yeah. uh, back to the Facebook thing. Uh, unblock her, if you would. I, if she wants me to. I, well, I, she doesn't want to be blocked. She didn't want to be anything to do with it. Is why do we have a Facebook page for real? Amir? I, shit, I didn't know you didn't like it. Mostly, I wouldn't have put you on there. And if you'd told me you didn't want to be on there, I'd have took you off. I'm real easy to get along with. But, uh, you know, Facebook isn't. I don't know what the hell the problem is with what I'm doing. Oh, um, yeah. I got 100 tabs open. I'm trying to find this one here. Um, <laughs> did I find it? Uh, here it is. Spam. They call me for spam. There's how many? There is uh, community standards. We have an introduction in uh, how many chapters? One. We got one, two, three, four in Roman numerals. numerals. Then we go to spam. 16 in American number, 17, 18, 19. Then we go to five. What are you, what are you talking about? Roman numbers. This is all this crap on uh, community standards from Facebook. Oh, okay. There's all this stuff. But here, here's, uh, let me read just two of them. Spam and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, mis- oh, here's fake news too, all that misrepresentation. There's three. Let me start with number 16, spam. Policy rationale. We work hard to limit the spread of commercial spam to prevent false advertising. But you know what? They will allow you to pay to boost your post. They have companies that make Facebook pages. It's all about profit. So try to pull something out of this and tell me what the hell they're meaning here. So they says, uh, 
to the uh, so to limit the spread of commercial spam to prevent false advertising, fraud, security breaches, all of which detract from people's ability to share and connect. We do not allow people to use misleading or inaccurate information to collect likes, followers, or shares. Do not. Well, yeah, very big, bold. Uh, do not artificially increase this distribution for financial gain. What the hell, man? They got to, you. You pay Facebook to. Boost your post for financial gain. Uh, yeah. Create or use fake accounts or compromise other people's accounts, too. And by the way, I'm Roger T. Hat. And I can't get signed back in there. I did determine how to create a, a fake account and get into Facebook. Fuck you, pricks. I did it. Yeah. And I also have a back door to ask for people that don't want Facebook. Hey, there's the uh, business. Uh, uh, what was that second word? Did you just the the the, the, the flying finger, the bird? Remember the two words I put together earlier? Yeah, I forget. You just uh, yeah. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Bird to you, buddy. Uh, Facebook. All right. So you're not to uh, uh, impersonate or pretend to be a business organization, public figure, or private individual. I'm a public figure. Am I pretending? Ah, am I famous? No. Force Gump, famous maybe, whatever. Okay, do not attempt to create connections, create content, or message people. Restrict access, restrict access to content by requiring people to like, share, or recommend before viewing. Encourage likes, shares, clicks under false pretenses, maliciously use login credentials or personally identifiable uh, uh, information by attempting to gather or share login credentials. Aha, Dan uses my. Facebook. Somewhere in here, it also says not to have multiple accounts. I have multiple accounts. Uh, are you not to use other people's uh, identifiable information. Promise non-existent Facebook features. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, and then I've said fuck more times on the radio tonight than I've said probably in four years. <laughs> Here's the misrepresentation policy rationale. Authenticity is the cornerstone of our community. We believe that people are more act, uh, accountable for their statements and actions when they use their authentic identities. Well, let me tell you, I am non-anonymous, so you don't have to. People have a right to privacy and not laugh. Everybody know who the hell they are. Find Moosey. I understand you don't want your peeps knowing that you're over here, some crazy-ass damn anarchist girl, hippie like type and, and playing blue grass. Banjo and shit like that. Whoa, I can understand that. I, I doxing, that's the thing that happened there in the chat. You know, Hans Flash, uh, I mean, uh, um, a Judge Dredd hand over doxing people, putting their private information out there. That's no, uh -uh, that shit don't fly. That's a serious violation of uh, the trust. And if somebody wants to be public, that's fine too. But if they don't want their name, maybe they have safety concerns. Now, we've got people, I've named the Patties. You know, they're against the Poots, the Bundy supporters. Um, and they they are scared for their own safety because they think that these right-wing wing militia guys might come hunt them up and kill them. Oh, and you know what? There, <laughs> there's some of them that would do that. There is nutters. There's left uh, nutters. All right, well, tell, right tell, tell me this. Tell me this. Yeah, uh, because the screenshot that you posted uh, it says this goes against our community standards on spam. Now, from the part that you showed me there, there there's obviously no spam. Is there more to that post? No, it has her uh, front and back cover on one one post. I had a, a, from her book, uh, and I used the images and I cited the uh, uh, the source from from Google or from Amazon. And uh, I put links. You know, I, I call myself the paraphrase plagiarist, but I always uh, source my information, even when I'm uh, doing the paraphrase the plagiarism. Well, I was just uh, wondering. Maybe, maybe maybe they think Amazon links are spam. Hmm. I mean, I can't imagine. Um, well, maybe I mean, there's, there's obviously nothing uh, with but there. Uh, yeah, they're they're attaching it directly to the uh, reallibertymedia.com site as uh, we're uh, unworthy of their standard 
Yeah. And I don't see that I've rep- misrepresented anything, not myself, not information. I'm not putting out fake news. I'm not uh, selling anything. Uh, there's there's no monetary value here. Uh, but we're, we're, you know, what? We're not making no money. No. It costs, costs us to do what we do, equipment and time. Absolutely. And, and the people that are true, real liberty, real liberty media, can I make a new word up? People that are true, real liberty medians, peoples. <laughs> real liberty media. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, if you ain't got no extra money, you understand. You are not obligated to contribute. You can come around here, put your feet up on the coffee table, flick your ashes on the floor, shit in the middle of the goddamn driveway if that's what you want to do. Like, uh, yeah, hands, you know, we're getting more complaints about you shitting in the chat room over here. Well, oh, whatever. Hey, yeah, um, I, I don't I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't... <sighs> Anyway, um, okay, so I think it's I think it's covered. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the whole Facebook thing. That if you figure out why they've banned us out of there, whatever, uh, that's fine. If not, fuck them. Um, and and the thing is, uh, Moose Girl didn't want to be uh, admin on your page. Fine, you took her off. Uh, she doesn't want to be He's blocked. Been an admin for years there. Well, I mean, whatever, whatever. I had no what, idea. Whatever, whatever. Didn't want it, but so and but I don't believe she wants to be blocked from your page either. And oh she, well, if you don't, I'll unblock you. I thought you didn't want your name being associated with it, where your kin folk would see it. All right, and and she doesn't want uh, the uh, the the speaker to automatically post over there. Fine, that's all good. That's easy enough. That that's a simple fix. So, uh, well, I'm I, I, so I'm I, gonna do my best. I'm gonna tell you once I've taken action, it's hard to retrace the steps, but. Because I, I was able to just go to your name there, remove you as a um, as the admin. Because you know I made well, there's a few people that are like editors or whatever, but I took everybody from Real Liberty Media, uh, actual, and made them the same position as me, where they can override me. I mean, I could have got kicked off the my own page that I created for Real Liberty Media, and and it's happened. You know, there's people that actually go in there and hijack people. Shit, just. For whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well I, get I get it. I get it. Sure. Yeah. How about uh, that prick, Pete Santilli, uh, uh, Suzanne Posel, and Vinnie Eastwood? He screwed them over. Yeah. When I met him out there in Bunkerville, I said, uh, Yeah, I know some people you know. Uh, Jaja, Janine Gordon, and uh, Suzanne Posel. Oh, you should have seen the look on his face. That was, uh, that was, uh, his price was perfect. Yeah. His life. And then he got on to me on, on Twitter and said, They're communists! Ah! I never trusted that guy. Uh, ever since that whole DC truck thing, man. It was, it was like, fuck that guy, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you remember that or not. <laughs> yeah, uh, he supposedly ripped off the... Yeah, he was fucking... He was, money. He was, he was a big piece of shit. So uh, I, I just didn't trust him. So I, when I found out that he was involved in, in, in like Bundy and up there in Mauer, Mount Bowler, whatever you say, you say that yeah. shit. Now you're. Yeah, uh, I was yeah. like, fuck, man, why, why do keep people keep flocking to this asshole? Uh, exactly. Because apparently they do. I, you know, uh, so what? Because people like their ears to be tickled, and they like people to talk like they got some kind of, uh, you know, uh, some kind of something that. People like to run their mouth and boast and, and say how, oh, we're going to go kick the shit out of you son of bitches in D.C. We're going to take our country back, by God. Oh, yeah. People want to hear what they they want people to say, what they want to hear. And you know what I do or don't do? I don't tell people what they want to hear. No. Yeah, people them. don't want to hear what I have to say. My buddy, I get shit from people, family, friends. Oh, this radio thing you're doing. Oh, no, who cares? You're doing something, man. But you know what? He's like, you know, I see what you're doing, man. It, and you make at least some small difference. Yeah. You know? But I take this shit to to person face to face. Cops on the street. Moose is like, that one time, what, what, you like talking to cops? I think it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a good game. You know? 
because yeah. in the end, they want to go, can I go now? You know, I'm looking for this finger business going on here. I'm scrolling. I'm on the right place now. All right, well, I'm going to play some music here, man. So. All righty. I'll, so. I'll hang out with you, homie, too, unless Missy wants to come back in. I'll give her a spot back. I ain't trying to be mean to her. In the meantime, I'll go and block her. If she wants me to, I'll come back to chat. All right. Okay, yeah, good enough. This uh, first uh, track I'm going to play here, <laughs> this first track I'm going to play here is an NCIV request. It's a band. Uh, hang on a second. I can't tell. I can't tell... If the band is dropping anchor, or the or the band is Jimmy's Chicken Shack, one of the two, it's either Jimmy's Chicken Shack by dropping anchor or dropping anchor by Jimmy's Chicken Shack. <laughs> I think dropping anchor is the band. All right, here you go. Check it out. Mine is mine, and what's mine is mine, and what's mine is yours. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> All right, that's a brand new one there from The Who, and it's called All This Music Must Fade. Uh, that just came out yesterday uh, here on the YouTubers, so uh, uh, it sounds like the old Who, man. I, I like it. Uh, anyway, before that, we had the uh, wonderful Miss Haley Reinhardt uh, covering the White Stripes Seven Nation Army and uh, doing a spectacular job of it. And we kicked it off there with a uh, end of request. Uh, the band is called um, Jimmy's Chicken Shack. The song is called Dropping Anchor. And it's off of their album, Pushing the Salmonella Envelope. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you're back with me there, Mr. Vinny. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, uh, that. Last two song was really pretty good. Yeah, uh, no, hey, I'm no. over here. I'm fixing up, uh, working on this Real Liberty Media Facebook page. All right, I've gone over here and I've added. Uh, uh, well, Moosey, you're back on there. I really thought you was wanting off there that people were seeing your name, your family, and you didn't want them seeing. But anyways, you're back there, but you're not at, at me. I'm gonna put you back on there. So I've got an impression uh, here, and I just copied verbatim uh, off the uh, about RLM uh, website there portion and. I go. I start a little bit down. I said uh, where RLM could be considered as a liberty-based alternative to the corporate lame-ass propaganda. The clap. That's right. It goes right on down there. If you don't know what it says, go read for yourself at reallibertymedia.com. The place that bans is banned. But <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. Well, I'm adding in their products. I've given our product as free thinking. That's right. Free means. It's going to cost you, though. It's going to cost you some effort to use your noggin. Now, I've got to ask you a couple of questions here, Grimmer. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll stop, start up here at the, at the top and in the description. Uh, I think that's good. It says, well, I don't know why I've got Freedoms Network in there. It's a description. Visit us at our website for, for more. Li well, I've got the uh, reallibertymedia.com yeah. uh, address. So that's why I've got Freedoms Network in here. I ought to guess I'd add uh, realliberty.org. So I've got the categories as news and media website. I think we qualify for that. Absolutely. Would you say that we oh, are, yeah, we are yeah. news and media? Yes, we are. very definition. Is. Thank you. Pretty now, much. we've got a number, but that's like your number two, and I don't know that you wanted it to be listed here, so uh, uh, I thought I'd ask you. My, my a telephone number? Yeah, the call-in number, whatever. Yeah, no, take that off. Just uh, say. No, uh, it's not there. I never put it there. No. All right, just say, uh, just say, uh, contact on uh, on the uh, wire. Like, yeah, there's like, no, there's, there's not that option there. I've got the website is reallibertymedia.com. It's funny that I I can uh, have a reallibertymedia.com Facebook page with the address to reallibertymedia.com, and yet I cannot post. A post that says reallibertymedia.com. Huh, what about the email? Would you like the email? Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Or, or I mean, what what are, what are the options? It says email address. Oh, okay, yeah, liberty at real liberty. Or you can say my page doesn't have an email address. Hey, right, you, you put liberty at real liberty media All right. Yeah. Nah, 
Liberty at reallibertymedia.com? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's the primary one that I use. I also use uh, Done. radio at reallibertymedia.com and uh, rlmradio.xyz. I have dozens of email addresses. Yeah, I've got several myself. Uh, but I put this one in wrong. I put Liberty with the uh, A with the, the long tail around it. Liberty at reallibertymedia.com. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's it says email. You have entered an invalid, uh, invalid email address. It says please check your email address. Try again. Liberty, L I B E R T, at real. T Y L I R T Y. Huh? L I B E R T Y. Yeah. R E A L L I B E R T Y, media, M E D I A dot com. Yeah. It says it ain't real. <laughs> well, uh, uh, how about fuck you, Facebook? We yeah. won't even worry about it. Man. Yeah, screw that, man. Yeah, and we're not sharing the address because we're not going to have the likes of uh, Judge Dredd showing up with tents to park in your front yard and the like. We'll have a hippie commune going inside of six months if we put an address up there. Dang Starbucks drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, service area. Are you servicing anybody, sir? The globe. The globe. I, I don't know if I like the use of the word globe. What about the flat earthers? Thank you, the flat earthers. Right? Oh, we don't right. want to hurt anybody's uh, feelings. Okay, well, you could just say the planet. Because uh, even if it's flat earth, it's still a planet, right? Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to what I started with. Or, or just, just I'm say. I'm going to go just, worldwide. Just, just what do you say, think? Just say Earth. <laughs> uh, it's not going. It's not going to let me use worldwide. Uh, how about uh, world? Earth. You know? Just Earth. Fuckers. They're so particular. You know. It's like you say, I like eggs, and they'd be like, you're going to have to define eggs and. Specify what bird? No, nope, can't eat them eggs. <laughs> I can go with Earth, Texas, uh, Middle Earth, Maryland. I guess there is the actual Middle Earth. There's a Blue Earth in Minnesota and uh, Earth City in Missouri City. Oh, you got you got you got Hell, Michigan. So there's a lot of Earth in Michigan because, uh, or you no, know, here's Wisconsin, Minnesota too. Black Earth and White Earth. That sounds racist to me, or is that just demographics? Uh, hey, you look. There's there's a there's a there's a town in the very su- southern part of New Mexico, and it's called White City. <laughs> now, I I I didn't I didn't go and look around see if there's any uh, you know Mexicans or blacks or Asians or anything down there, but uh, yeah, it's called White City. <laughs> uh, I think there's also a White City in Oregon. I've heard of none of them, sir. Uh, I do know that there's a I don't place called to... Jasper down in Texas. And yeah. They're supposedly got signs up that if you're black, you ought not be there after dark. I, That's I, racist. I don't, I don't want to live in that, live in Hill, Michigan either, Moose. But uh, you know, every now and then uh, d- during the middle of winter, there we always check to see if Hell's frozen over. So. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and they do. Believe you me. <laughs> Well, you know, I've uh, been a critic of Facebook for a long time, but uh, it does have uh, what you can apply and and, and work with it. Um, if you're if you're smart, you can get beat around. Them. Uh, you know, I go to my Facebook page there in my my timeline. And there's Becky, there's a little baby, and her mama. Ah, I miss you, Becky. She is a great person. Well, I've got a bunch of people that post on my timeline and I don't stop them but you know what Facebook takes it upon themselves to well I've got 78 items for me to review you know what piss on you I ain't got time to play your game I'm not going to go do all that if you make the cut baby you've made it if not well Isaac with him he's made the cut Lee Peer has made the cut uh Michael C. School has made the cut a lot of people posting over. Hey, looky here. There's a feller called Vincent Easley. He had took him, I forget how long, to figure out 
uh, the change. Welcome to reallibertymedia.com to RLM Radio. No links. Right. One share and seven people. That's a pretty high number. Okay. Seven people. All right. Well, you know, I've I've also been a, a huge fan or a, a detractor from the Facebook people, uh, but I've also been a huge detractor of Google uh, mm-hmm. because uh, I don't like their their methods and tracking and monitoring and everything that people do. However, earlier this week, I came across this article here. Google rolls out rolls out new privacy tools for Maps, YouTube, and Assistant. Uh, and they also they had put out a thing oh not that long ago I forget exactly what it was some kind of messenger thing they have uh, where they put in end to end encryption. But uh, according to this, and this was on the second, it said Google today announced a handful of new consumer privacy tools for some of its most used products including Google Maps, YouTube, and Google Assistant. The tools are meant to be uh, to better allow users to control, manage, and erase the data Google collects from those who use its services or prevent Google from collecting that data in the first place in some cases. Uh, the Google Maps, in Google Maps, there's now an incognito mode that works similar to the ones available in Chrome browser and more recently on YouTube. Uh, so you can make it so that YouTube doesn't, doesn't, uh, monitor all the videos that you watch. Um, which I, I kind of like that they do that because that way I, they give me your, um, suggestions that I want. Uh, mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm not watching anything on YouTube that, uh, anyway, at least on my my primary account, uh, on on the, on the RLM account, I watch more of the uh, more uh, what you call them controversial videos. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I, I try to stay off of there, not screw that feed up over there. On uh, and I and I didn't do that a very good job of that for a while, but I have uh, um, like several accounts. You have me in as uh, administrator at Real Liberty Media. Oops, stop. Right. Um, so I'm just going to see how many accounts I got here. All right. Anyway, I'm going to be going, going on here. It says the idea is that there are times when you don't want Google to track your usage of maps, including when you search for a particular places or travel about town. Uh, there are a number of reasons why you might want to opt out of being tracked in maps, which I don't want them ever to track me on maps. Maybe you don't want to taint your personalized recommendations with irrelevant data. Or maybe you don't like the idea that the company tracks your every search and precise location because that's just creepy. Or you could use incognito mode from the menu that appears when you tap on your profile photo and maps. Uh, the feature launches Android. This is whatever for Android stuff on iOS. Uh, so on YouTube... Google is launching the ability to auto-delete your YouTube history. This means you're able to set a particular time period that you want YouTube uh, to keep your YouTube history available, like three months or 18 months or whatever. Uh, the, the rest will be deleted automatically, so you can choose to manually delete the history if you prefer. Uh, anyway, and then finally, uh, it's addressing privacy issues on Google Assistant. You'll be able to ask, hey, Google, how do you keep my data safe? Uh, for more information. Uh, anyway, so so there's that. And then, in um, not necessarily in conjunction with, uh, but uh, related to uh, that particular thing, uh, I came across this article, Why Big ISPs Are Not Happy About Google's Plan for Encrypted DNS. And if you're, you're familiar with DNS, you know what DNS is? Uh something server Do- domain name server so you yeah. go into your your uh, search thing or your your bar there and you type in there reallibertymedia.com it it takes that information that you typed in it sends it to a dns server which converts it to an ip which allows you to connect to that server and up until recently uh and still in many places still going on um that's sent out in plain text and so your ISP can track every single web page that you visit. Not just the site, but every single web page you visit. Um, and and uh, Google is setting up a thing for encrypted DNS, 
which of course you don't need if you're running a VPN or if you're running open open uh, DN, open VP, open DNS. Um, but <laughs> so, but but with Google, they're planning on doing it, setting it up so that you could do it right there directly in your browser. Although they're not going to switch uh, you to automatically use the encrypted DNS. The ISPs are, are pissed off because why? They want to track every website that you visit. And for creepy reasons, obviously, not just the advertising, which is what they tell you, but, um, yeah, they, they, uh, they are pissed off that Google's going to do this, and, and they're trying to get them to not do it. Um, but uh, both Google with their uh, Chrome browser and Mozilla with Firefox browsers uh, are you going to be doing uh, the DNS queries over encrypted HTTPS. So, um, yeah, Comcast and Cox and Roadrunner and I, I don't know who all the big big uh, ISPs are out there, but but, but, but they are pissed. Much. They are they are they are majorly pissed off about this uh, because they are going to wind up uh, losing a lot of the track ability of you. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're my guy on the computer. I don't do anything that's, uh, without your approval, adding or any of that crap. But you've got me set up. Let's see, touch VPN. Uh, and sometimes I, yeah, I, 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 I well, the only, the only reason I give you the, the touch VPN thing is it's free. Although they, they do log. So, um, which, and all, all of the free ones are going to log you. And a lot of the paid ones are going to log you. You have to find one that doesn't log you if you actually want uh, true uh, privacy. There, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not so much worried about that. There's too much for me to try to fight. I, but, I just try to make the best of what I got here. And like Google, you know, it's gone to crap on searches. Uh, I've I've been coming up here ten years on the internet in 2020. So you know, I've not got a lot of time on the internet to most people here um but i've made good use of it and uh, i've got on on youtube for instance i've got well real liberty media and then the me me the the personal me then i have another me vince beasley the second that's just strictly for music uh and then i got a ponder gander and that's for uh such things as uh you know for instance psychology or whatever right narcissist so forth then i got vince easley and that's the guy that goes around just for entertainment, I want want to listen to an audio book. Uh, and then there's what matters worldwide, and I don't use that anymore. And uh, there's another feller, oh Wiley Freeman. And I don't even know if he's still alive. I created that for him, and I still have access to it. So yeah, I make uh, I, in Google though, like uh, geoengineering, yeah, that sort of thing. Right. They they scrubbed a lot of information. Oh and hell yeah. That's what I'm seeing. We're, we're seeing Facebook scrubbing information. Well, take these sites off because, you know, there's a possibility that something they have in there would uh, perhaps enlighten. Just one person. Lucy, just one. That's all we want. Just one. And then that one get one. Pretty soon we've tipped the whole damn thing over and we've won the world. We've won it and took it for, as far as I know, the first time in history of mankind since maybe the very beginning. Right, but that's what we're here doing. We're fighting. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, places Google, Google, Facebook. You know, they scrubbed all the natural health stuff. Uh, they, 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 they scrub, of course, the chemtrail stuff. Um, anything that doesn't fit the plan, uh, they they take it off because they they want people to fit the plan. <laughs> you know what my opinion on this. Uh the geoengineering, the chemtrail, and that sort of thing. Yeah. I think they screwed the atmosphere up. It, they tried to blame a hole in the ozone, I think, back in the 70s. Right. And uh, from uh, CFCs and, and so forth, and carbon emissions, whatnot. And I think they screwed it up, busting rockets up through there and, and poked holes in it. Um, oh, because, yeah. I mean, it's pretty complex, the different layers of stratas and all the atmosphere and that those you know, hundreds of miles out into space, and then you got the the radiation belt and all this stuff, all these variables, and uh, so you know when you just go to pushing buttons and don't know what that's going to happen, you know you, you got to try it sometimes, see what happens. I think they screwed it up so bad they got to make chemtrails now, or we just burn up. So right, yeah, I, well, I, you know, I come out in support of chemtrails. 
Uh, all I like shade. All, all, all the, uh, all the radiation from all their nukes, you know, that they mm-hmm. set, set off doing all their nuclear tests and uh, for atmospheric tests, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, e- even the ones on the ground, the ground level tests, those, those, absolutely all that radiation. I mean, it, it doesn't just go around along the ground; it goes right on up there. And uh, look at all the uh, the dolphins and whales and uh, other uh, sea life that is, you know, dying and being beached on the uh, on land and military out there with their whatever frequencies are pinging under there. Right. Uh, you know, drive a whale crazy, you know. Sure, sure, sure. They have to operate on sonar, so they need to. Yeah. They probably got secret tech stuff that's beyond our comprehension what they're doing. Sure. You know, with these tests out there. And I think it like fry in the brain. Maybe it's like a type of microwave. <laughs> you start dealing with electricity and that sort of aspect in water, you know, it's got to have bad effects. Spread out, you know. Have yeah. uh, channels to ride on. But they're out to kill the world. That's what the, today's broadcast was, basically. The uh, contrast between uh, living life and uh, the death and the occupation that uh, surrounds us and comes for us all one day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got to share this next thing because, uh, well, I had so much fun with it today. It's 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 been kind of a blast for me to uh, <laughs> talk about. <laughs> so I have to share it. I'm gonna. There's a little video, a little short video here, and I I, so I got to uh, line this up on the. It's not it's not like a YouTube thing, uh, so I got to line this up on the screen. But uh, oh yeah, I've I've had a great time with. It. Oh, it looks like it's pretty well lined up anyway. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, this is from apparently from last night at a uh, the Ocrazio uh, gathering. Uh, so so here you go. Getting rid of fossil fuel is not going to solve the problem fast enough. So I think your next uh, campaign slogan has to be this: We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. All of you, you 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 know you're pollutants. Too much CO2. We have to start now. Please, you are so great. I'm so happy that you really support a nuclear deal, but it's not enough. You know, even if we would bomb Russia, we still have too many people, too much pollution. So we have to get rid of the babies. That's a big problem. Just stopping having babies is not enough. We need to eat the babies under this very serious. Please no, no, give no, a okay, response. Thank you. No, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We'll go ahead. I think we all need to, to, to understand that there are a lot of solutions that we have um, and that we can pursue and that if we act in a positive way, there's space for hope. <laughs> we need to eat the babies. <laughs> Now, I've got to admit that uh, I'm not sure if that was the first lady was talking or the second one was talking was uh, the old crazy lady because uh, I've <laughs> never, ever gone to listen to a word she said. Never, oh. not once. I don't, the, 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 the brunette was uh, oh, crazy or the one at the end. But uh, the first lady, uh, she, she was a troll. She was sent there by this uh, LaRouche pack, uh, which is apparently a, a tr- pro-Trump group. Uh, but to, to go there and troll her uh, be, because of all all, <laughs> all of the nonsense, all, all the global warming nonsense, you know, um, it, it, it just so I, I've been having fun with that, and a lot of other people have been having fun. There's been all kinds of great memes about eating babies out there today. Um, <laughs> so. Get to my belly. <laughs> Oh, but she did a great job. I, I mean, she sounded like one of them. You know, she sounded like like one of the, your typical um, uh, O crazy O fan. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's just I, I, I just had such fun with that today. Oh man! And, Do you think that people on the left or the right are more disillusioned? Just oh, they're they're both crazy. They're both equally crazy. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the thing is, and and whether you want to. It doesn't matter what side they're on of the fake paradigm there. Uh, um, both of them want to control everybody else. Right. They, they want to tell you what you can and can't do, uh, how to live your life, and, and they both want to steal all of your money, pretty much. You know, they, the left or the right says, oh, no, we're we're fiscal conservatives. Like, hell they are. Uh, they, <laughs> I mean, Trump has spent more money uh, or 
created a larger budget, I guess is the way to say that, uh, than anybody ever before him. Uh, and, and, and it raised the, the overall debt, uh, to a much higher level, uh, at a faster pace, uh, than, than even, you know, like at the pace of Obama, he rose, rose, rose it faster than that. Uh, so, uh, they, they want to say they're fiscal conservatives, but they're not. They're, they're, they're just so far not. And they all just, they want to write rules, laws, to control your life and tell you what you can and cannot do. And uh, the, nobody's about freedom as far as politics goes, um, and, and they don't want to be about freedom, and they don't even talk about freedom. You, you don't hear any of any of these politicians ever saying, we're going to make you more free. We're going to eliminate tons and tons of laws, because there's like billions of laws that nobody can even keep track of. There's no way to know how many laws there actually are on the books. However, if you don't obey a law because you say you don't know about that law, that's your fault. You have to know about all these laws that nobody can ever possibly know about. So uh, which side is more disillusioned or crazy or uh, basically just out of their freaking minds? <laughs> there's, not, there's not really any sides. Uh, they, they just want different, uh, or they say they want different stuff, you know. Uh, so I, I, I can't. Um, there's no answer to that. <laughs> One time, a long time ago, I heard that uh, it took, I think it was 68,000 pages to set the price of taters one year. Um, now, what I've noticed used to, it was like one side would, would come and rise up and champion an idea as in opposition to the others. But now it comes to, uh, who's what are they championing? No, they're saying, I'm not as bad as that. You, you better just go with the, the, you know, the devil you know crap. Now, we went, what, before Reagan, we was in billions of dollars, the deficit, which uh, right, right. In, in dollars is manageable, but then it went to the trees, and billions really are not manageable, you know, but it's it's a number now that is, it's unattainable. Nobody oh, even knows yeah, that, it's that kind of money is. And, and they tell you, okay, it's whatever this is, $22 trillion or something like that. Well, that may be if you want to look at it like that on bla in black and white, but they have these things called unfunded liabilities, and if you look at those numbers, it reaches close to a quadrillion. Wow! So, <laughs> and they, nobody ever talks about the unfunded liabilities uh, that, that are out there because, well, they're unfunded, and they're but they're expenses that have to be paid. That have to be uh, uh, under their current system, under their current rule set, uh, and and there's there's no way to really change those um, in the system as it is. So, yeah, twenty two trillion. Ah, oh, that's a nice, friendly sounding number. You know, it's only twenty two. Don't don't even think 20, about twenty one. Was great. I remember turning twenty one. Twenty two. It wasn't as great as 21. <laughs> oh, God. You remember turning 21? Where was you when you turned 21 years old? I, 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 uh, they, some friends of mine took me to some various bars that night. And I got, I got totally freaking wasted and puked my guts out. That's where I was. <laughs> you know, the, the, the irony of this my well, story here is uh, drinking age for beer in Oklahoma is uh, you could is three two near beer, uh, eighteen years old. Well, I come back one year with a fake ID and it's like uh, I was going to buy beer and I go, Are you kidding? You're ID me? I don't look eighteen. It's twenty one now. But anyways, uh, I wasn't twenty one at the time. Come along to turning twenty one on the run in Monroe, Louisiana, and I had no ID because I was on the run and. I couldn't get into a bar on my birthday for nothing. Dang. <laughs> I walked around like, damn, it's my birthday, man. <laughs> yeah. Here I am on the lamb. Huh. But I've had, I've had a great life, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. So much adventure and excitement and gone places and done things. And I'm threatening to want to roll up out of here, but I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe I want to stay home just a little while. Yeah, you know, you find find yourself a cousin to hook up with, and you'd be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually have any uh, 
uh, blood cousins that real close blood. Now there's I've traced in some of the family here, the Pruitts, for instance, and they're ones around here, the younger ones. Here. Yeah. You know, I, I won't. I'm shutting up. Anyways, uh, we were late back in there some some distance. Now, the the book I'm reading on the Barnetts. Yeah. Um, their their family, my family, back you know in the 1700s and, and such a uh, uh, intersected same parts of the country and. Uh, I've not found any indication that any uh, my family and his fa- family ever married, but uh, you know, it's a small world. It really, really is a small world. Yeah, when yeah, you go is. back when there are so many less people, right. and uh, if we can just get back to eating babies or start eating babies, we can get back to manageable numbers where we can yeah. go get at by a bear or a hog when we go gone to shit in the woods. I mean, think of it, man. All right, I'm going to play some more jams here. Uh, all right, this first band that, uh, that I'm going to play here, uh, some of you may be interested. It's a, it's a band uh, called Whiskey Myers. Uh, and now they, they as far as I, I mean, they seem to be an extremely talented band. Anyway, this first track, or this track that I'm going to play by them, is called Gasoline. Um, but I think they may well be the next Almond Brothers band. This song is not particularly almond y <laughs> but but a lot of their songs are very um well they're, they're all original and they don't sound like the Almond Brothers but uh, they're a southern band. They they got that thing about them man so uh, and I like I said a lot of talent. Anyway this track is called Gasoline. Uh en- enjoy. Two men were taken to the hospital <laughs> Godzilla! Godzilla! Goobrazilla! <laughs> Boy, Mr. Colt there, uh, doing the Godzilla stuff. Uh, great. That was a uh, Hansel request, actually. Thank you for that one there, Hansel. I, I love the Blue Oyster Cult. I love uh, that, that album and that song. So, all good. Before that, we had the Texas Hippie Coalition, a.k.a. THC, uh, doing their song, uh, Dirty Finger. And we kicked it off with a track called Gasoline uh, from Whiskey Myers. Now, that song that I played was probably the most rocking song that I've heard from Whiskey Myers. Some of their stuff is uh, pr- pretty much just good old southern uh, rock, and some of their stuff is pretty much country. Uh, so, anyway, remember that name, Whiskey Myers, that band, and uh, you will be hearing from them from them more every day, I would say. So, Whiskey Myers. Check them out. Look them up. Play songs by them. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. All right. So, Whiskey Myers did the uh, Fire, Gasoline, and uh, the, the, I forget the rest of the title. That was the first song? Yeah, the first song. Whiskey, Whiskey uh, Myers. And now, who, what was that other song? The Fingers? What was the name of that song? And who did that? <laughs> that's, that's, called, that's the Texas Hippie Coalition doing Dirty uh-huh. Dirty Finger. Like it. Let me see your dirty finger in the air. Wave it around like you just don't ah. care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> oh, the yeah. finger? Yeah. The fa- that's uh, that's that was in today's uh, our tunication on the on your gender. Dirty you finger, see it right there. Yeah, I, I'm trying to put all the words to make it sound a little better, but uh, that's kind of what I'm meaning. They're digitus and imp- Impudicus, impu, yeah, impudicus, impudicus, yeah, impudicus, right? Uh, Digitus impudicus. I, I, I don't I speak Latin, Italian. man. I don't know. Well, the Italians, you know, they they started all that before well, they were Italians. They well, didn't even know it. Some of them were even Romans. It's it's Latin. Yeah, it's just Latin. I'm just yanking. <laughs> yeah, well, does that make any sense? I don't think it quite makes sense. It almost makes sense. I say giving over to what's beyond the what else, and therefore so try to stop us. I got that part has got to change. Give them a proper homily and salute. The middle finger in there, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Six and nine is fifteen. Right. You ever play Keno? In Las Vegas? I, I did, yeah. In the, in the restaurant there, you sit there in the restaurant eating your eggs at three in the morning and <laughs> drink, drinking coffee and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I talk about uh, having gone on the run uh, in the past. And while I was in Las Vegas in, uh, in behind glass, the last time I seen my uh, first true love, and uh, it was many, many years later. Matter of fact, I think it was in 2011. Uh, I got this here again. So we go back way back in 1980 something. Yeah, wow, a long time ago. Yeah, and uh, but anyways, I uh, when I was talking about about 10 years on this Facebook thing here now here there I came and well there she was and so I was headed out to Vegas and she didn't live far. And, uh, it's amazing what the, the technology, where it brings us, brings us all back together. But, but anyways, I won Keno in uh, two, on one on a machine and one on the numbers. And it was like how the universe comes together for me. I love it when, when how it works. It just used to life was so hard. Man, bad decisions. Hey, yeah, you've heard that probably. Uh, life is hard, especially if you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it definitely gets harder when you're dumb. Um. <laughs> oh, I got the luck of the Irish. You know, so, well, I'm part of the Irish, anyway, or descendant of the Irish. So, so. Oh, yeah, a bit of the Irish. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I bought uh, a bunch of uh, what did I, what fours and their fours that I'd need. And, uh, I went and parked myself out in the desert in a uh, little strip of Arizona out there. Uh, not far from St. George, Utah. You seen that I, picture? I, I, I've been to St. George. Yeah, it's the cleanest little city I've ever been to in my life. Friendly, yeah. nice people. Uh, the Mormons is great, and that uh, they have good programs. James Freeland, uh, I think a few people know him from radio. Uh, he spent a little time out in the, the penitentiary out in Utah, and uh, in and spent uh, living out in the free world there in. Uh, St. George and being on, you know, a street person like in the, the Mormons help people, but yeah. they don't, uh, they don't just hand it over to you. You know, if you've got an ability. Well, yeah, they and, want you to work. You know, you got to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, do, uh, they, do, they definitely want you to work, so. Right. Yeah. You know what? I I fell for a trick that wasn't even a, a trap that was set for me. It was set for uh, that photographer I rode around with, Clive and Bunny, that one day. Yeah. And uh, Clive, and, Clive, we was in the. Uh, Overton and, and uh, I said, "Hey, there's funny." I said, "Look, go by the school over. I ain't been by there since I was uh, in eighth grade uh, when I went to school here." Right. And, uh, so he drove me around over there, and we looked, and he was talking about who lived over there. I was uh, eighth grade. My first puppy loved Gina Whitney. She died. I found out when I was at the state fair or the county fair in uh, uh, in Nevada when uh, Ryan Bundy was when I interviewed him up there for his governor run. Anyways, uh, yeah, she's died, passed on some years back. A, a lady that was working at the fair there, when I got my press credential there, says, uh, uh, 2018 fair, fair to fair. Yeah, that's what it says. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, rodeo and fair. That was fun. That was. Uh, yeah, life goes on. But anyways, I was talking about the photographer. Yeah, Clive says to him, he says, uh, there's McDonald's. He says, you want a hamburger? And the guy's all like, no. I go, I do. <laughs> I've been out here in a tent in the desert. The hamburger just was good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat a McDonald's hamburger if you ain't going to feed me one of your Bundy beef burgers and some beans now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, the first time I ate with Clyde Bundy is, uh, it was a big old pot of beans and, uh, and beef up in there. And I says, uh, I says, this Bundy beef, he says, if there's beef in there, it's Bundy beef. Oh, it was good. And, uh, but when that photographer came and I met up out over there, kind of, uh, it, it was almost like I was the, the, uh, what do you call him? Not a Johnny come lately, but the follow on or the fifth wheel or something like that. But he was like highlighting in this guy as, uh, demonstrating to him the errors of his ways and not understanding how, uh, cattle graze on the land. But, uh, and he didn't fall for it. I did. I said, yes, I want a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> I didn't get one. I got biscuits, though, later on, I think, for lunch. We got back. And there were some leftover biscuits for breakfast. But there was honey. I had honey and butter on it. So. Yeah. I think there's a glass of milk, too. All right. Well, More different. Yeah. They don't just, you know, you, you, 
you got to work and earn. Your hey, life. circle. All right. Um, now tell me if you know this next woman, because uh, you might you might want to not hang out with her too much, because she doesn't appear to be the sharpest uh, tool in the woodshed. <laughs> Or even behind the woodshed, for that matter. <laughs> Sheriff says, Woman arrested after asking deputies to test her meth. <laughs> so, <laughs> deputies in Alabama arrested a woman after she asked them to test her methamphetamine for purity. The, the, news, <laughs> the news courier reports, 48-year-old, and I, I could have sworn this woman was like 60, uh, whatever. 48-year-old uh, Jennifer Colleen, Colleen, Colney, I don't know, uh, was, was arrested on drug charges after calling law enforcement dispatch Wednesday. Limestone County Sheriff's Office Deputy and Spokesman Stephen Young told the newspaper the woman pulled a bag containing methamphetamine from a baby wipes container when deputies arrived and said, I want this dope tested. <laughs> According to authorities, she said she believed it had been tainted with another drug. Uh, Young said the woman acknowledged taking the drug, but couldn't remember when. Yeah, well, that speed will do that to you. Uh, the newspaper reports Hall was charged with possession of a controlled substance and remained jailed early Thursday with bail set at $2,500. <laughs> So, <laughs> I was like nine years old. I was out in Vegas one summer. Uh, somebody ripped off this other dude's pot plants out of his backyard. The guy calls the cops, and they saw, they go, oh, yeah, well, okay, well, let's go get this guy. And they go over there, and, uh, is that your pot? Yep, that's it. That's it. He's the one. So they arrest him. Oh, they think <laughs> you really got to be, right? Right, right. Huh. Oh, dang, we're running late. I got I got to do the last set. Mm. I didn't realize. Am I right? Am I? Am I? Do I do my timing right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Racking, racking. Four, nine. That's twelve. That's thirteen. Thirteen and six. Yeah, I'm running late. We're gonna run a little bit over anyway. So, um, all right, man. Thanks for uh, joining me here. Thanks, Grimner. I'll jump out. Uh, yeah, I had good fun there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I always like talking to you. That's why I like to act like I don't know how to do that whole business at the end of the broadcast. I think maybe it's subconscious. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Later, y'all. Thanks, yeah. people. All righty. We're going to kick it off here with a band. Well, I'm not sure if it's a band called The Band or just a band, or maybe it's. it doesn't actually say here. Uh, well, here you go. <laughs> All right, that was a uh, band there called the Southern Locals covering Black Betty. Uh, not a bad job at all. Before that, we had Golden Earring, recorded uh, in Amsterdam on December 12, 2005. So, uh, oh, whatever, 14 years ago. Uh, great job. Uh, Radar Love, man. Golden Earring, Radar Love. Uh, yeah, it was an epic, epic version of Radar Love there. And we kicked it off with The Wait, the song The Wait. And it, and it said featuring Robbie Robertson, so it confused me. I thought, thought it was the band. But apparently it was this uh, concert thing, playing for change, a song around the world. And there was bands from everywhere, man. It was pretty cool stuff. All right. Um, so that's going to wrap it up here. Thanks to everybody for uh, staying with us, sticking with us tonight. I, I know it was kind of a, a rough start to things going on, but hey. You know, sometimes that happens. Uh, you know, you, you get you get uh, live shows, uh, and and you never know what's going to happen. So uh, it was uh, interesting, and um, I want to thank Moose Girl and thank Vinny for for uh, everything um, all the time. So uh, tomorrow, I, I do believe Dark Table will be on at noon Eastern with Flash and who knows who. Uh, but uh, Dork Table, check it out on RLM Radio. I'll be on Sunday on RLM Radio as well, at noon with the blues. And the trivia here in the chat, of course. And then on uh, right after me is Hal Anthony behind the witchhead opening up the big old can of whoop-ass. I'll be back again Monday evening, uh, 
7 p.m. Eastern with Grim Leftovers. Episode 42 coming up your way. Uh, just check the schedule there on com for all the rest of the shows and great stuff. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Peace.